Hey friends, it's Marie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a quick little craft room tour today. This is not in depth. I'm not going into all of my drawers. I'm not showing you how I organize my stamps by brand. I'm just going to show you how my room is set up, how I have things arranged, and kind of the flow of how I work so you can get some ideas for your own room. Now, if you follow me at all, you also know that we homeschool. So my two kids um, do school in here with me as well. Um, we, we've turned it into our classroom, our craft room. We like to get cozy and read in here. It's also my office and a whole bunch of other things. This has become a really multifunctional room that our family has come to love. Now, it used to be our formal living room, but I found that with the couch and the TV in here, we weren't using it at all. So we decided to move this in here and make it more functional and we love how it's turned out so far. So if you're excited for this tour, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and stick with me as we move around the room and I'll show you how my craft room is set up. All right, so I have my room sort of divided into two sections. On one side is my crafts here, and on the other side is our classroom. So I'm gonna be focusing more on our crafts. Maybe I'll give you a little bit more of a peek at our classroom um, towards the end, but I just wanted to show you how I have my crafts sort of set up. So this large desk here, my husband actually built, and I absolutely love it. It's got a lot of space on top that the kids can sit and do their homework on um, as I'm sitting there helping them, or I can clear it off and do a big craft on there. Um, so it's a really great multifunctional surface to craft on, to work on. I do plan on um, painting it eventually. I want to paint it white, but I just haven't found the time for that yet. Um, but that's my, my main crafting surface, um, well, work surface. I do a lot of my computer work there. My main crafting surface is over in this corner here. You can see I have another desk. It's a white craft desk, so it does have storage inside of there. It has the shelves in the sides and it's got a, a drawer that pulls out underneath too. Um, I have it set up over here with my lighting, my tripod, um, right next to these windows. So when I'm doing videos, I can open up those windows, get some good light on my videos. Now, I don't always get to film during the day. So I have a ring light. I have another lamp over there that's really bright and I, I like to um, try to light up my area as much as possible when I'm doing my videos. So that's my main work surface over here where I film my videos, I do a lot of my crafting. I've got a lot of my most used tools right in reach here. So my little craft cart here, I've already done a little video on that, so I'll link to that if you're interested. I've got a lot of supplies in there right within reach. Um, you can see on this one, this one shelf here, sorry for the blurry focus of my finger, um, I've got my stencil binder, I've got a, um, just a craft mat there for ink blending, my oxides, I've got my glimmer machine, I put it there, I've got a lot of foam adhesive down on the bottom, um, I've got my self-healing mat that I use to kind of craft on here. Of course, I've got my phone plugged in um, so that I can have that charging. Um, I really like this ring light from Amazon. It adds a lot of light to my space when I'm working here. Um, and I can adjust it and I can put my phone on it. So it's really handy. Um, I have another light over here, this little lamp. And that one's bright as well. I have the daylight um, light lighting in there so that it's a bright light when I'm doing my videos. Um, just some coloring things and a lot of markers um, over here. I've got my liquid adhesives. I've got my scissors, um, ruler, my die cutting tools, all the things that I reach for really frequently. Now this other organizer thing here is actually from scrapbook.com. Now this is one of their ink pad towers. You can put 12 ink pads in there, um, but I already have ink storage. So I'm actually using this to store my card fronts in. So I've got my slimline paper pads in there. I've got some slimline 
um, card bases and card fronts. And I also have my A2 size card fronts and my card bases. So they're all right there, really handy. Um, I love this little organizer to set right here on my desk so that I can put everything in there. I've got this little die as well. This is from Spellbinders and it's the perfect size for cutting out panels on the front of your cards. So I just keep this right in front here so I can grab it. I can cut out different sizes of cards that I need, um, cut panels to put on my cards, and it's right there where I need it. I have more paper down in this drawer that's just, you know, the regular size paper that I can cut down if I need to. I've got my paper trimmers, I've got my misties in there. So everything is pretty, pretty close on hand when I'm crafting. So I really love this little area. And of course I have to have my calendar to keep track of all my deadlines and the projects that I have coming due. Um, over here, right on this corner, I keep my um, die cutting machine and I do go between my large one and my smaller Platinum 6. Um, right now I have my large one out because I was cutting larger dies. My Platinum 6 is the one that I usually use, um, but I just had this one out so I've been using it. So that's what's there right now. Um, moving it over to this desk gives me a little bit extra room to kind of spread out when I'm crafting on this one. So my drawers here on the desk that my husband built, um, the first one is my ink storage. So I'll open that up for you. It's kind of an organized mess, <laughs> but I know where everything is, so it works for me. And I don't know about you, but I always hesitate changing up my organization because I get used to it and then when I think I'm going to organize it, then I can't find anything. So. This is what I've gotten used to, so this is what it looks like. I've got my embossing inks, I've got my black inks right here, really close so I can grab them. I've got scrapbook.com inks, I've got Gina K inks, I've got distress inks, and the pink fresh inks. Um, so a lot of the inks that I use frequently are in this drawer, and then I also have my oxides right there. So I have um, a lot of different inks right on hand, but I love it that it's so close to my workspace, I can just grab everything as I need it. The other drawers in this desk are kind of just lots of random little bits. I, I have just been throwing things in there and I need to get it organized, but this is also my office space. So I do a lot of my um, school planning here, um, a lot of just our household stuff here. Um, and I really like this space because of the bright windows. It's just a really cheery and cozy room to be working in. So over here I have a little shelf that I have all of my bins that I put my, my stamps and my stencils in. Um, I've got some different things on top like my foils, um, my albums, and I've done a video on this little four drawer organizer before. So I will try to link to that as well. And I just have everything sort of tucked away over here, organized, put away. And up here, um, I love these frames. These are a favorite piece in my craft room. We found these, my husband and I, before we had kids, we had went to a little garage sale um, in the Pacific Northwest and we found these old frames. Um, don't worry, they're not antiques. They were really beat up, but they looked really good with a fresh coat of paint and my husband turned them into shadow box um, shelves for me. So right now I'm just displaying a bunch of different cards, but I've had Nouveau drops on there in the past. I've had embellishment mousse in the past. Um, so I love these frames and I put them up in my craft room wherever we move because I just love them. Um, and it's a little bit of really fun storage as well. So that's pretty much my craft area. Um, I do have another cart, not a cart, but a um, shelf that I've got my Canon printer on, my um, Cricut on, um, and some extra albums and things on the bottom. So I use that for my photos and my Cricut to cut other things out. And I have a laser printer in our kitchen um, for all of our, our schoolwork and everything. So 
lots of stuff all over the place, but it's functional and it works, so we're not gonna change it. Um, so now that we're in this direction, the other half is our homeschool room. And I don't know how much you guys are interested in the homeschool aspect of our life, um, but it's there. My kids are here all the time, so if you hear them in the background, that's what it is. Um, we just, we, we have been loving homeschool so far, um, and we do math and reading every day, we do Bible every day, and we also have community where we go and we do lots of history and geography and science, hands-on projects. Um, we've been studying some fine art and even Latin, so our kids are getting a wide variety of experiences and we've just been loving it. So that's just a little bit of a tidbit on our homeschool life, um, but we won't get into that. I could talk about homeschool forever, um, but this is a crafting video, so. So thanks for joining me on this quick little tour. I know it's not an in-depth tour. I didn't get into all of my drawers, but maybe you get a little bit more of an idea of how my room is organized and arranged. I know we always love to see what is on each other's desks. So if you enjoyed it, if you have questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. Otherwise, hit that thumbs up, um, subscribe if you haven't already, tap the bell for notifications, share, do all the things, and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.